Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Uh, today is a little bit different because I have this cigar here called the GTO Anesthesia right here. And um, I was got to review this cigar. I had it in my humidor for a little bit. It was provided to me by Smoke One if you have one. Uh, and um, he, Eric, he has, uh, you know, taking his own money, bought a lot of these cigars, I think a whole box of it. And to share with other reviewers, the other uh, fellow hobbyists, to 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 smoke the cigar because he took interest in the cigar and um, he bought a few. He reviewed a cigar uh, that was released by this company, GTO, and um, and I, I guess yesterday, the guy from GTO decided that he didn't like the review and he threatened to sue him if he decided to put another uh, negative review out there. I personally watched that review, and I didn't think I, th I didn't think there's anything wrong with that review because he liked the first half of the cigar and he did not like the, the other half of the cigar. And we all know as cigar reviewers that taste is subjective, right? This cigar is not sponsored. We put out our own money to buy the cigar out there to review to to bring our awareness and interest of a particular brand or cigar that we review. We not pay for it. We did not generate any money out of it. And for a company to come out and say, I didn't like your review. You give us a negative review. I'm going to sue you. That is that that just put the, the whole company uh, to a very low spot in my mind. Like I have zero respect for this cigar brand now. I would never, ever smoke a GTO cigar from this point on. OK, and, and that which, which tells you that I am not going to even bother reviewing the cigar because at first, I thought the review, uh, the cigar review was gonna be interesting because this cigar looked very, very in the distance, a lot like a a purple rain, and I thought it would be interesting. I keep it in my humidor for a little bit until I can figure out how I can make that cigar uh, review interesting. But now this cigar just have zero interest to me, zero, because I do not want to review a cigar came from a company where. The, the 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 owner has zero respect for other people's opinion, all right? Because the taste is subjective. If he tastes sewer, he tastes sewer. So what? You know, maybe some people want to taste how that tastes like. You know, there are some reviewer that literally would say a cigar didn't taste good, but a lot of people were like, I wonder how that tastes like. Maybe that taste suits me. You know, I for me, I personally say a lot of Gurkha doesn't suit me because the earthy taste just or what the, the Bangya taste just not for me. It tastes like crap. Right. But, you know, uh, cigar company knows what their target audience is and uh, who, who, you know, what the review will come out. And they take it as a critique or opinion and know that the cigar might not be for everybody because nobody can make a cigar that everyone likes. OK. And for this kind of guy that goes out with the blonde disrespect to all the people cigar, cigar review where they want to bully you, threaten you with lawsuit that if you don't give them a good review, they're gonna sue you. That just have zero respect from, in my opinion. I can never, never, never review a GTO cigar. I will never, ever, ever spend another penny on GTO cigar, and I'll never smoke one, even if it's given to me. So yeah, sorry, Eric, I'm not gonna smoke this one, but I will not, I, I actually will toss this to the trash later on. I'm not smoking it. But I'm just putting in my opinion out there if you are GTO Cigars owner, put this in my you know, in your mind that what you do right now, basically saying that nobody should review any cigars because if you don't like the cigar, you gotta get sued. That's what you're basically saying. It's like, you know, if you don't put a good review for my cigar, I am going to sue you. I, I actually read that uh that threat document or or message from uh Instagram that he sent it to him privately. And honestly, you have no case. I'm just going to put it out there. You have no case because his opinion. And he literally said 
part of it that he liked, and the other part of it he didn't like. It's all factual, opinionated, and、uh, and he did not recommend people not to buy your cigar. And you go out there and says, "I'm gonna sue you next time." That's just ridiculous.、Uh, you want to bully people into that way? You want to bully the cigar community and the reviewer community like that? Then you know I'm gonna advise people not to、um, review or smoke your cigar. I mean, he gave a lot of that that cigar to other people, and basically, I believe that、uh, it will be right for him to tell all the people that received the cigar from him not to smoke that cigar because that's his money, hard-earned money. To buy your product, just to get threatened by you, to sue us if we didn't give you a review that you feel palatable. I think that's very wrong for any company like that. All right, our press, negative or positive, our press, and that brings awareness or interest to your cigar brand, and that's what the reviewer is doing for free, for free. All right, we did not take any of your money, we did not, we're not advertised by you. To give us our opinions with our own money, our time editing the videos put out there, and you goes out there and say, "Hey, I don't like your review. I'm gonna sue you the next time you put it out."、Um, that's just disrespectful. So, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go smoke a GTO cigar. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go buy it. But if you buy it and if you smoke one, you're supporting owner like that. And and I honestly think that GTO, the owner of GTO, and that whatever doctor that you're mentioning that he doesn't even know the name of, you guys owe him an apology and a serious one. And and, and、uh, I don't know if he's gonna post that message out there, but if he did, the public will decide what you guys are doing as、um, as a cigar company. Now, cigar community is not very big. Okay, cigar community is not very big. And to have people like you out there threatening people of good review, just really tells us indirectly how good your product is. I don't care how many sticks you sell a year.、Uh, there are a lot of house blend sells way more cigar than you do. So that's not something to be proud of or something to be, you know, putting out as to flex or something like that. It's nothing, nothing special. There's plenty of people that sell cigar way more expensive than you do, and sell way more than you do. And we smoke those cigar all the time. So for you to come tell us that we have no taste bud or whatever, that's your opinion. That's your opinion, right? Just like the same way he said that your your cigar tastes like sewer, at a certain part. For you to tell him that he has no taste bud, it's the same idea. It's opinion. Now, while not he cannot say that you're wrong about his taste bud, you really have no say on what he tastes, right? Because there are some people that taste your cigar probably said, "I can't taste anything but tobacco." Well, I taste nothing but but sewer, whatever. But That's their opinion, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. And if your cigar cannot stand up in the market with opinions or judgment of your cigar, you don't think that people、uh, will still try your product. You have no confidence in your product, and that's in the end. If you don't have a confident product, I think that speaks louder than any of the review that you have no confidence in your product. That you have to go out and say, "Next time I see a negative review from you, I'm gonna sue." That's stupid. That's stupid, but I、um, will encourage you to try to give him a frivolous lawsuit so that he can sue you back for、uh, defamation, so that he can get a lifetime of free cigar. Maybe not from you, but you know you're free to try.、Uh, that's a really low way to bully not only the review community but the Asian community and all that stuff. So you know, go do it. I don't care. So unfortunately, guys, there will be no review for this cigar. Ever, and、um, we'll go to the next cigar, better one next time. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.